everyone, welcome back to Max Electronics. Uh, today I'm at my local hardware store and uh, there's a Christmas display right here already. So I've bought a few lights before and there's, um, I've checked it out, there's a few interesting items like those lights. And they're very different, I already bought a box, they're not a usual lights. We're going to have a look at the new technology that um, we have here, so stick around. Back from the shop with the lights, so here they are. Uh, why they're interesting, I saw this remote on the picture and the light that changes color, and I'm thinking that suggests that they individually may be changing color, so I thought maybe there's a controller in each one of those and you can set the colors. So anyway, a uh, brand new packet, let's open it up. And inside we've got the power supply. And we've got a box with uh, the Festoons, Festoon lights. It sounds, to be honest, like a sex toy. I don't know who made this name, Festoons. Yeah, it definitely sounds like a sex toy. So let's get them out of the box. And have a look at them. Also in the box we find a manual. And the little remote control, typical Chinese. Yeah, definitely Chinese. So anyway, let me plug it in for you so you can look at them first. And uh, when we plug it in, there's a little button here. I already bought the set before that, so that's why I thought I'll do the video. So we'll plug it in. And they light up. Let me turn the, uh, they change the color. So let me turn the lights off so you can see it better. And I can press the button on the remote. And they change colors, you know, as usual. So you would think, okay, well, what happens is it's just RGB's LEDs inside. And uh, it um, just since you know your pwm3 channel which is red green blue and common and then you go like okay but then you keep scrolling and i'll turn the lights off again and see what happens there's a few settings so they fade as well you keep thinking yep typical rgb but then this happens and they all random colors and you're going, ah, it's not PWM. It must be, um, you know, addressable pixel, like NeoPixel or something like that. So NeoPixel would usually typically have um, four channels or three channels, so it, oh, well, four wires, so three wires, so four wires, you'd have positive, negative, clock, and data. And in some cases, like WS2811, you will have positive, negative, and data, three wires. But, lights back on. If you undo this and have a look inside, two pins only, two wires, no data line. So you can connect up to three sets. Uh, that's very interesting. So the remote control actually receiver inside there. So I decided to open one up and which one did I open? They actually glued the seal so it's fully weatherproof. Uh, I've lost the one that I've opened already because it took other oh, it is. Yeah. So if we open it up, we find an LED, just a plastic case. It's all solid mold, so the water doesn't get in, and that's glued as well. And you'd think there's a controller. Once we pull the circuit board out, just two wires going to the LED. Let me zoom in for you. Look at that, no controller, no nothing, just two wires, positive and negative, going straight to LED, no microcontroller. So that is new, I haven't seen this before. So each LED, and there's nothing, this is just a typical standoff, there is nothing, no cheap hiding there, it's just literally directly to LED, no resistors, nothing. So this is some sort of a type of C bus, I guess, or something like CAN bus, something that is transmitting data over the power line. Uh, the, if we look at the power supply, let's take a quick glance at it. 
it is um, secondary 5 volts rated and output is 6 volts so it's just 6 volts very interesting so let's open the power supply up bang it's opened <laughs> it took a bit of a effort to again it's glued it's all sealed shut to make sure it's got ip44 rating and if we look inside we're not seeing much so the first part which is up to here is your typical uh, switch mode power supply you can see there's a good separation here uh, then we've got the diode just still a typical part of the switch mode power supply then we've got this chip which is has uh, numbers shaved off it let me just yeah they they literally scrubbed everything off it so it would be something maybe like pick or something like that and that's driving two transistors here that is driving the output there's two wires so that's the infrared receiver here and that's pretty much it to it so literally nothing else just a capacitor for support a little oscillator and the button here as you can see so yeah that side nothing literally it's just that cheap and those two transistors which is one goes to positive negative and one goes to positive so they must be switching I think the best bet for us will be to hook it up to the scope and have a look what is actually happening when we press that button or is there any sort of a wave well, what's going on so let me get the scope out and we'll plug it in and see what's actually going on i've removed one of the leds here and i've soldered it directly to the uh, power supply as you can see so we've got positive and negative and that's just the back of it here which i've desoldered so uh we've got scope here so here it is right now. So if I plug it in, it's just working normally. Just with all the functions that we saw before. I'm going to unplug it and hook up the scope. Now I'm going to bring the scope up here on the screen now in the corner here. So let's have a look. I'm plugging it in now. And we've got 4.8 volts. So 4.8 volts. And let's put to single sequence. And I'll press the button now. Okay, so, oh, sorry, my phone, <laughs> I should have muted it. So we can see it's a little pulses. So it pulses 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 times to switch to green. Let's try for the second one. So it pulses the same nine pulses to zero to switch to blue. Let's go through all the colors. Same with red. With orange, it's different. It's two. And it keeps pulsing. Okay. Let's try another one. So four. Four is, so it keeps pulsing four at 17 kilohertz. Let's go for another one. Yeah, see, it keeps pulsing. So this is real feed and it's just pulsing four down. So let's go to the next one. Pulsing one. Let's single sequence it. So it is just a one and then one, two, three, four, five, six. One and six, that's purple. And it's pulsing one, two, three, four, six, and six. Oh, six and two and six is yellow. For cyan, we got four. It just keeps pulsing four. Let's go to color changing one. It just keeps pulsing different. Okay, what about the flashing one? 
So it's, yeah, it's sending those pulses. So technically, if I have five volts, I should be able to trigger that LED. I've got an idea. I'm going to pull the battery out of this remote. Let's get the scope off the screen. And let me just desolder the LED and I will try to hook it up from three volts and then I'll just try to pulse it quickly, see if that will work. Actually, um, yeah, so let's try that. Here is an LED out of this board and it looks like an ordinary LED. Literally, there's nothing special to it. So I've got the five volt bank, uh, battery bank that we're gonna hook up the LED to. Let me just get the polarity correctly. Okay, so let's try plugging it in. And it's just white, but if I wiggle it, now it's red. If we can get any other colors. Well, we've managed to switch it to red. There we go. So what I'm essentially doing is just scrubbing the LED against the contacts and because it's a loose contact, it's sending the random pulses. And as you can see, we can switch the color. there it is very interesting tech by the way you may have noticed i'm not at my usual workbench uh the reason for that is that due to a tragic circumstances i have to stay at my friend's uh, mom's house and look after her animals for a while but i will be still bringing the videos that's the reason i wasn't bringing the videos for a while for a couple of weeks uh but i will be i've got a temporary setup here so i will be bringing some videos for you so not a problem there I'm going to assemble this thing together and put it on the wall and see what it looks like. So um, that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We nearly got 1000 subscribers. Very exciting. So click that subscribe button. Click that bell button. If you're interested in more uh, videos, you can always click on this link up here. Uh, that's another LED project. Stick around. My name is Max. Bye.